Hi everyone, it is travel agent Amy with Never Grow Up Vacations. I am bringing you along for a little staycation that I am having this weekend in Disney. For those of you who might be new to our channel, I am an agent with Never Grow Up Vacations. I've been with the agency a couple of years now and more recently I've moved to the Orlando area. So yes, I am local to Disney World, Universal and all the other Central Florida attractions which allows me to do a lot of fun things around the area. So what you're gonna see in this video is I'm staying at the Hilton Lake Buena Vista Palace, which is that first high tower. It's the white tower that you see with all of the like, it looks like mirrors on the outside when you're driving up. Um, those are balconies, which you're gonna see my balcony here in a couple minutes within this video. Um, I'm gonna give you a tour of the property. I'm gonna show you my room. And then I'm just going to give you a little bit of a Disney Springs update because I don't think we've really had a video like that recently. So I am heading over to Disney Springs tonight. Uh, I'm going to be bar hopping a little bit. So I'll get to show you some of the fun parts about that. And then I am enjoying dinner, excuse me, at STK. So I have dined at STK before. It is a great restaurant and it's yummy. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but... I just wanted to point out some of the perks of choosing some of the Disney Springs resort area hotels. So let me backtrack. So when you're looking at the landscape of Disney, we have what we call on-site hotels. That'd be your Pop Century, Coronado Springs, Grand Floridian, Polly, that whole bubble, right? So that is considered your Disney on-site hotels. But if you're looking to potentially save some money and be a little bit further away from that bubble, we have what we call the Disney Springs area hotels. So this includes that strip of hotels right off to the side, Double Trees over there, Bee Resort, Wyndham Garden, the couple Hiltons are over there. So that's kind of your Disney Springs area. One of the benefits to this area is they get some of the same perks, not all, some of the same perks that some of the on-site hotel guests get. So for example, tomorrow I'm heading to Magic Kingdom. I am considered with my hotel on that list of early park entry. So I do get to go in 30 minutes early along with the rest of the on-site hotels. So sometimes the rates are about the same. Sometimes it's a little bit cheaper. You gotta consider parking on both on-site and Disney Springs. But in the case, why did I choose this resort? A, I've stayed there before and I actually really like it. And B, I can walk to Disney Springs. So you'll notice when I do my little tour that I'm gonna walk right across the street and it's gonna drop me off close to um, Earl of Sandwich, like that little concentrated area, the older half of Disney Springs. That's about where it'll pop me out at and it's just a quick five minute walk across the bridge. So very convenient. So I'm excited to bring you along and show you my experience and kind of give you an update on Disney Springs. So I'll check back with, in with you here in a couple minutes. All right, I am all checked in here at the Hilton Lake Buena Vista Palace. I am located on the sixth floor. I am in a one king bed room. These rooms are pretty big, so I'm gonna show you just how big they are. And then I'm also gonna talk through some of the perks of this resort. Um, so let's take a look at this room. All right, so let's take a look at our one king bedroom. So I'll show you just kind of the overview here and I'll just walk you through a little bit more in depth. So one king bed. I've never stayed here in a queen, two queen, but there are available. So um, starting out, you do have your drawers here, plenty of drawer space. You do have your fridge and your safe, no microwave in here. Um, as a benefit to staying here, they do offer parks transportation. So you can see here how frequently they run. And because it's a Disney Springs hotel, you also get some savings. So you can use that if you go head on over there, which if you're staying this close, I assume you will. Um, just a note, this is a Hilton property. So if you do decide to either sign up for the Hilton Honors Club or you are already a member, you do get some beverage credit. I am a Diamond member, so I get $15 per person per day. So there's two of us here and that's $30 per day. Little desk area here. You do have a very nice sofa. This does pull out so you can comfortably sleep four people in this room. I do wanna show just some of the nice features here with all the outlets. Plenty of charging opportunities. Almost all the lamps have built-ins. So that's really nice. 
you got some more on your end table here ceiling fan because in Florida that is a must I want to show you the balcony so my view here is the resort view um, so I don't have a Disney Springs view but that's okay for me because I actually like this view it tends to be a little bit more quiet so that's the view you can see some of the other Disney Springs hotels and then just right off the corner here you'll see the pool so I'm off the back side of the hotel if you will so if you look from the street when you're looking for this hotel remember how i said it kind of looks like mirrors so those are the balconies they all look like mirrors because they have this reflective glass so on the balcony two nice seating chairs nice size balcony pro tip eat breakfast out there because it's real nice all right and bathroom area pretty standard um nice size vanity some under the counter storage if you need it um, in here there is a good size closet to hang your stuff, source and stuff. Extra bedding for that um, pull out. And then you have your bathroom. So all in all, pretty good size room. I really like this hotel because of the proximity to Disney Springs, um, but then also the proximity to the parks. I mean, every park is easily 10 minutes um, if you're driving. So um, keep, keep this in mind for your future stays. Um, and I'm gonna show you some more clips of Disney Springs and the hotel in a little bit. All right, I just wanted to show off one of the two restaurant options here at the hotel. So this is the grab and go market. Um, it's more of like a quick service option. So here you can come in the morning and get your sandwiches, your pastries, all your stuff like that. Um, also has a really nice grab and go selection of like beverages and stuff. Um, so this is a really nice option for you if you're looking for something quick. Um, this is definitely the place to go. Yeah. These are the buses that you can take to and from the park. They do come periodically. I want to say it's set about every hour, give or take. These Mirrors buses do service other Disney Spring Resort hotels, so you will not be the only stop, so just note that. But it's still a really nice option if you do not want to pay um, to park at the parks. Um, also, just throughout the main areas, some really nice outdoor spaces. I'm about to go out to the pool, so I'll show you all the pool in just a minute, but some really nice relaxing spaces. And that bus transportation is located on level one. All right, so I did want to show off some of the pool area here. I'll try to do a little bit more of a walk around in a bit. It's getting a little hot, so I do need to get in the pool soon here. So there's the tower where we came from. Um, this is the Lazy River, which is really, really nice. They do have a children's splash pad, which you can see over there by the fountains. And beyond that is the main pool area. There is a bar and grill out here um, that is open until later in the evening. So you can grab a nice light lunch um, out here by the pool, or you can grab a drink in the evening. Plenty of chairs, um, even though it's pretty late in the afternoon. It's, it's, it's a little after four right now on a Friday. So, you know, still plenty of pool chairs available. Um, I will say shade is a little bit limited, um, but find an umbrella like I did right here and you're good to go. All right, so I just wanted to show off a little bit more of the pool area here. You can rent cabanas at a small charge. Um, I don't know how much they are, but they're available for rent. And then I do want to show off just the main pool area in addition to what I already showed with the splash pad and the lazy river. And then right past there where that awning is is where the um, bar area and restaurant are. All right, so I am walking over to Disney Springs. So you'll follow the sign. So like right here, you see this blue sign. You're gonna walk past the bus stop that I showed already. And it's just a quick, I'll time it, but I think it's about an eight minute walk. You just gotta cross a bridge across the road and then go through bag check. And then it pops you out over by Earl of Sandwich. So more to come, but you're gonna follow this little covered pathway. So if it is raining, it's good to know that the pathway exists. Oh, that's so cute. And you just keep following the pathways and it's very lush and green as you're walking. So I actually really enjoy this walk. All right, so a little update on my walk. I'm only a couple minutes in, but this is where it shoots you out. So if y'all remember, this right here is the area where the Ubers drop off, off to the older side of Disney Springs. That's the bridge right there. We're gonna cross over. And we'll be there. So I want to show where the turn here is. So we're up at this intersection, Hotel Plaza Boulevard and Buena Vista Drive. So I want to note something that not every single Disney Springs hotel is walkable to Springs. Um, some of the 
sidewalks are not there. So just note that although it may look close on a map, it might not actually be. So here I am walking up the stairs. I'm about to go cross that pedestrian footbridge and then I'll be in spring. So super quick walk, easily eight minutes. If you're walking at a, we'll call it a moderate pace. I wasn't meandering, um, but here you go. We'll see in just a second where I pop out. And I'll kind of reorient us here. Okay, so. So more hotels to get you across the other side. So if you're staying at like the Hilton, the other Hilton, you go that way. This over here, let's see. Lime Garage, right there. Hollywood, you can see it over there. So this pedestrian footbridge, cross it, go down, and you're in spring. So super close. Not every hotel is walkable, and I'll just kind of show you here. So this sidewalk here, it is good, but it's busy, and it's way longer than it looks. And not all of the hotels have connected sidewalks, so just kind of note that when you're choosing your hotel, because you can see how far like the B Resort is. That's still another mile. I know it doesn't look that far, but that's a mile. And we have Holiday Inn right there. And then the other Hilton right there. All right, so just entered Disney Springs. So they currently have the security set up right next to the Spice and Tea Exchange right there. So it pops you out right in front of the merry-go-round if you know where that is. So um, at this point, I'm just gonna give a nice little walking tour um, of Disney Springs and just kind of show what's going on. A lot of these stores have not changed um, in the past couple months. There's been a couple new kiosks, we'll call them. Um, so I'll show some of that off. And I'm personally heading over to STK for dinner tonight. So I will show just a couple snippets of that because I do like STK, it's delicious. Um, speaking on STK, just while I'm walking and talking here. Um, so in general, make sure you make your Disney dining reservations. As of today's recording, it is a 60 day dining selection window. So 60 days prior to your check-in date. Um, if you are staying on site at a Disney property on your 60 day mark, you can select for your whole stay, however long that may be. If you're staying off site at a Disney property, at a non-Disney property, excuse me, um, you have to go in every single day at that 60 day mark. That process as of today's filming starts at 6 a.m promptly um so you want to be on the app as soon as that 6 a.m process starts and dining can be a little competitive so that's why it's important to book with someone at never group vacations because we'll help you select that and you don't have to wake up so early so as we're walking across the bridge here rainforest right here so i want to point out spirits oh sorry swirls of the water goodness that's a spirit um, this is some Dole Whip. They change that. So um, every month or so, every couple weeks, they'll change the flavor. So that's something new. That kiosk is rather on the new side. So be sure to check that out, especially as we are now officially in summer. Um, so make sure you get your cool treats. All right, so we just crossed the bridge. Paddlefish is right there. Um, something I do want to note as we've now approached summertime at Disney Springs is that it is hot and the sun is out and Disney Springs unfortunately does not offer the most shade. There are some shaded areas, but they're towards like the new half of Disney Springs, if you will. So just to kind of orient everyone here. So here's the lagoon, right? Rainforest is right there. This is considered the other side of Disney, like Disney Springs. This is the older side. Um, this side going this direction, a little bit more updated. Um, so when you're kind of orienting yourself, when people think of the old downtown Disney, this is what you think of because a lot of the stuff to the other side of it is a lot newer and that was in the development of Disney Springs. So. I'm going, I got some time, so I'm gonna walk a little bit. Here's Lego store, always very popular. All right, just from an orientation perspective, I'm on the side of World of Disney, Emirates is right there. Um, some of these stores, oh my God. All right, so a lot of these stores are what we consider the newer part of Disney Springs. You'll see the Lime Garage up 
here just shortly. Lots of stores to shop at, lots of name brands, Polite Pig, Great Barbecue if you're looking for something quick. Um, it is currently Friday night. Um, it's currently going on 6 o'clock, so um, you can kind of see the crowd levels. Um, this will get worse. Um, so just kind of know, especially peak periods, especially weekends, it will get a little bit more crowded. So that's where it's important to make your Disney dining reservations because otherwise you might have a lengthy wait. So Lime Garage is there. And then we're just going to keep walking. I'm just meandering around, just seeing what's changed, what's new. Lots of stores, like right here you can see a great shading area where you were before, not so shaded. So um, you can find shade, just note that there's some areas where it's blaring shade, no trees, hot. All right, continuing our walk here, some high-end stores here. Um, this nice little building is a great spot, hot. There's a little bit of air conditioning pumping through there. So I think that's a great spot to cool down. Um, I do want to know, I talked about dining reservations a little bit. There are a lot of quick service dining that you can just pop on in. For example, Chicken Guy is right up here, um, as well as Blaze Pizza. There's a couple others too, but um, don't worry if you did not get a dining reservation. There are some quick service options for you. If you are an adult party and you want to sit at the bar, there are a lot of bars to choose from in the Disney Springs area. So I think that's really cool if you don't want the commitment of a dining reservation you have a lot of options there so again just kind of doing a little bit of a walk through here this area feels very nice because it is air conditioned so this is definitely a great spot to cool down because Florida summers no joke chicken guy Wolfgang Puck over here we got coca-cola store um, I'm heading over to the area very close to where the AMC is. You'll just see that in a second here. Also, Planet Hollywood is right in this area. I do want to note there's a ton of bathroom facilities, one being right here, um, but there's a ton of bathroom facilities in the Disney Springs area. So if you're walking and enjoying yourself, you don't have to worry about that. Um, plenty of options for you. Also, in terms of transportation and getting here, every single one of the on-site Disney hotels does have bus transportation directly to Disney Springs. It typically runs after it opens, so Disney Springs most days opens up at 10 a.m. Be sure to check that just so that doesn't change. And it's normally open pretty late. Um, last I checked, I think it was open until about 2 a.m. I can't say I'm one to stay out till 2 a.m., so, you know, take it for what it's worth. Um, but know that if you want to come out and party a little bit, you have the option to do so. So, there's Planet Hollywood. There's always live entertainment, as I'm sure you can hear in the background. All right, just from an orientation perspective, I just walked out by the balloon. You can pay to go up in that. It's called the Amphitheal. I'm probably not saying that right, but something of that sort. Starbucks is right here. If you head down this way, this is also the older section of what used to be downtown Disney. So you can see AMC, Splitsville. It continues on Cirque down there um, as well as the brand new salt and straw which just opened up a week and a half ago almost I think it was just a couple days ago it wasn't long at all might be going there later we'll see I've had salt and straw out in Disneyland and it is one to not miss let's just say that it's delicious so um, if you're coming out to Disney Springs plan for a nice little visit to salt and straw they have delicious ice cream as well as flights so who doesn't love an ice cream flight so crossing the bridge here, I'm about to head over to the STK area where I'm going to have dinner tonight. And we're gonna to continue to enjoy our night at Disney. Right, currently walking towards Wenbart George, which is where I'm gonna be going to go enjoy a beverage. Um, Gideon's is right on the corner here, which you'll just see in a moment. Hangar bars across the way. About Gideon's, so Gideon's is a newer addition to Disney Springs, opened up about a little over a year ago and still very popular, probably will be popular for a long time because it's delicious. There's also a downtown Orlando um, location. So if you do have a rental car, that is a nice option with much less of a wait. Um, if you do decide to enjoy Gideon's, there's two options. So depending on the crowd levels, um, there are sometimes a virtual queue in place, which it looks like there are. You would walk up to these ladies, 
give them your phone number, they'd let you know how long, and they'll text you when your spot is ready, if you will. Um, if it's not as busy as a virtual queue kind of night, then there will be um, a standby line, but as you can see, it's definitely a virtual queue night. That line's pretty long, so just note, um, when you put your name in the virtual queue, could be a couple hours, so just note that if you come to Disney Springs, you're gonna mill around, put your name in first, go eat your dinner, go do your stuff, and then you'll be good to go once you get called. So Wine Bar George, also a great recommendation for wine, of course, and small plates. And then I also did wanna point out the boathouse is right here behind this um, tree. Um, you can also ride a um, Ampicar, which is fun. It's a car that goes in the water too. Um, so that was like a, not a great explanation, but boat car, um, super fun. And then at, usually at night, there's some sort of entertainment here, which it looks like they're starting to set up. So this is always a great spot to come sit and hang out at Disney Springs. a little bit more here of Disney Springs as we're walking through. So this area is just past the boathouse and you'll notice that there's a lot of different still shops and whatnot. I also want to show, I'm not going to walk down that way because there's just a lot of Disney Springs to cover in one video. Um, I do want to point out at least where Raglan Road is and then some of your other options like Homecoming and such. I'll show you which direction that's in. I'm not walking down there tonight. It's a little bit toasty for me, um, but I'll show you at least what direction it's in. So here at this little intersection, if you head down this way, you have um, Raglan Road right here. You head across that bridge, you have like your sprinkles. You head to your right, you have um, Frontera Casino. So there's a whole bunch of other options down that way. Not heading down there today. Um, like I said, Disney Springs is just really large and you know, it's a lot to cover in one day. Um, here is Paddlefish. Um, it is currently about, I think about 8, 8.30ish. Um, so you can kind of see the crowd levels. Um, definitely summertime in Disney. Definitely a lot of groups here currently. So uh, about the volume you're seeing is about the volume of the summer, especially on the weekends. Here we are coming up on T-Rex. Um, if you remember previously, we crossed that bridge over there. We're gonna go the opposite direction, which is past World of Disney. So I'll get to show you that portion of Disney Springs. But here is T-Rex. T-Rex is very popular. It is obviously dinosaur themed. Um, surprise, surprise there, but great for the kids, especially if you like the Rainforest Cafe environment. It's owned by the same company, so definitely a good option for you. All right, so super excited to try Salt and Straw. I've had it in Disneyland, so it's nothing new to me today. And just having it in Disney World, so it's so nice to have it close by. I got the double something double something vanilla it was just vanilla but it looks delicious and I got sprinkles on top so I'm really pumped about that so um, do not estimate the wait time by the line the line looks long I only waited about 15 minutes it was super short um, so super easy to get your scoop of ice cream so cheers once upon a toy another great souvenir area um, the Bibbidi Boppity Boutique at Disney Springs is no longer open at this moment. We don't know if it's going to reopen or when, but that would be located back here. I'm going to head back to my hotel here just shortly in that staircase you see will be how I get there. Earl of Sandwich is right there. And then you're pin trading. So that's Disney Springs for you. All right, and that was our night out to Disney Springs. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Hilton Lake Buena Vista Palace. It's been a great stay so far. I'm so excited to enjoy the amenities, especially the early park admission. So that's really great. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my night here and I hope you enjoyed this tour. I did as much as I could to include all of Disney Springs, but as I mentioned, there's so much, so many different areas that it's really hard to get it all in just one trip out. So hopefully this was helpful to you if you're looking to book your next vacation. Reach out to us at nevergrowupvacations.com. 
My name is Travel Agent Amy. I hope you liked what you saw today and I hope you find me personable. If you do, come follow me at Come Fly With Amy on Instagram. I'm also on YouTube as well with my own channel, Come Fly With Amy. Um, TikTok, come find me. Um, but otherwise, have a great day. Happy travels. We'll see y'all next time.